Hi, welcome to Ion's Diner. I'm Ian Lauer. And I'm Ted the Diet Coach. In the diner, we bring you information to help you make wise choices in the kitchen or on the road. And today, we're doing a versus series. Which foods are we pitting against each other today? So today, we're going to pit against each other bison and uh, beef, which specifically uh, top sirloin, because that's typically what is on uh, most uh, competitors' diets in general because it's a leaner red meat. It's a clean red, it's a, the cleaner of the red meats, and it's very high quality. Um, the, when, I, when you look at both of these, the biggest thing that stands out is, the, is, the, is how lean bison is. They're very, very similar in taste and from, from a certain standpoint. Uh, bison's extremely lean. Um, it doesn't have an aftertaste like elk or, or moose meat, or thing, and I've had them all. Um, uh, venison, all that stuff, they tend to sometimes be a little gamey or have an aftertaste. I don't like that kind of thing, um, uh, especially when I'm dieting and I can't prepare it a certain way with spices and sauces and stuff to hide some of that. So when it comes to dieting, though, uh, I'd say, or even in the even off season, uh, bison is a better choice in general. But if you're trying to gain weight, trying to gain muscle, then probably um, the top sirloin is going to be a, maybe a little bit better choice because of its uh, accessibility in the market. Uh, and also its expense, because uh, bison may end up costing you just a little bit more depending on where you live in the country, because some places have much more access to bison than, than, uh, than other places do. Uh, and so it can be kind of expensive, but it's a great, uh, lean, clean um, red meat source, um, and, but so is top sirloin from a certain perspective, although it is a little bit fattier, but, but when you're bulking, it's not as a big concern as long as the carbohydrate ratios are uh, adequate. Uh, not you're not overdoing it, so your body's not storing too much fats. Um, so, um, which one wins the battle? Well, I'd say bison definitely wins the battle because it's a lean. It's when you're talking about meat, you're talking about it's your protein, it's your main complete protein source, and that's that's by definition what a bison is. Um, to, uh, top sirloin tends to have, a, like I said, a little bit more fat. And some of the red meats tend to be a little bit fat here. And also, uh, as a side note, more hormones involved in trying to uh, in trying to grow beef unless you're getting organic. So if you're getting organic, then there's a different story, but, uh, and you're getting uh, a good quality grass-fed stuff, then, it, then the whole thing changes, and the meat could be much leaner. But in general, if you're going to the regular grocery store, bison's gonna be a better choice. Excellent, Tad. Thanks for sharing your knowledge on that subject. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for having me. And if, and if people have any other questions for me or want details about some of the issues and things we talked about, they're more than welcome to email me at tad at tadthedietcoach.com or just visit my website. So if you tad. haven't yet, make sure you follow Tad. <laughs> Absolutely. And thanks for joining us here at Ion's Diner. Make sure you check back soon for more great episodes.